it would be too obvious to compare any European country with Wrangel, so I'm going with V Candy for Russia. Wrangel in summer and V Candy in winter. They actually have more snow here than in V Candy. I am Batulis. And I'm Quizzy. I'm born and raised in St. Petersburg, Russia. If you want to visit Russia, that's the place to go. Beautiful architecture, culture and nature. I was born in Moscow and raised in Korolev, a town known for its space rocket industry. But my first passion was more down to earth. It was football. I love football. My favorite place to be is Gazprom Arena, my team Zeni St. Petersburg Stadium. I watch every match I can. I have been playing football video games, FIFA, with my brother since I was 6. And I have played football professionally. Not the eSport, the actual sport. For 11 to 12 years. I have great memories from training at my Chaika Stadium, my own team. Esports PUBG is a competition between teams and not so much between fans. We normally don't have such big audiences cheering around us in person. Bird is pro, finishing out the day strong. But when we do it, it's amazing. The crowd, the atmosphere. It is the same as in a big football match. The fan can make a whole difference. The energy and support are fantastic. My brother was always supportive of my plans in eSport. My mother was 50-50. And my father, well, not so much. My mom really tried to keep my gaming under control when I was younger. But I understand her, it's another generation. Normally parents see games as something that distracts the kids from their studies. Recently I was in the Maldives chilling with my team thanks to PUBG. Now they understand it can be a real career. But in the beginning sure, it was pure play. Some friends invited me to play PUBG and my computer wasn't even good enough to run it. I was watching Dota when I was in school and I always wondered what do eSport players do? Why do they get paid? and why do they have so many fans? You see? Ooh. Connecting my shot onto Iro, that was a shot on a half, seems disgusting. Actually disgusting. After a serious knee injury, I transferred all my competitiveness from football to PUBG. In a couple of months, I was playing tournaments. I won my first tournament and a team from Russia named M19 invited me to join them. Tulins keeps going. This could be a three versus one, and it is! Oh, he's done it again! We saw it last week, he did the damage with the Groza. A few more months, and I was invited to my first LAN, because a player didn't have a passport. It was so quick, I didn't even understand I was in a LAN. It's the nail in the coffin! And now, we are already pretty good in Europe, where we play 90% of the time. We know every team, all their strategies, we work very hard without holidays. And it's all three dead! The Tulins! I can play 12 hours of PUBG and I'm not nearly as exhausted as in 2 hours of football training. You can learn 24 hours a day, many different maps. I learn something new every day. In other games, you mostly learn how to shoot well and how to put yourself in good position and that's pretty much it. I trusted too much on my aiming skills at the beginning of my PUBG career. I was too aggressive. Now I trust more on my team. This is just domination. PUBG is not only skills, it is more about cooperation, mindset and preparation. The focus is the PGC. Because we want to become world champions. So see you guys on the field.